Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round of 32 match between Surveillance and Mata Belitos. Um, Surveillance with his Skaven won his group. Um, somehow, despite being a PlayStation coach, uh, incredible, absolutely incredible scenes. Um, he's Swedish, he qualified through the PlayStation League Coalition. Oh no, he's representing the PlayStation League Coalition. He qualified through the PlayStation World Cup Open. Maybe that, maybe that is. I, I don't know. You'll have to ask him. He's in chat. Maybe he'll clarify exactly how he qualified. Um, presumably, he had to beat somebody's pet to, to get the PlayStation qualifier. So, you know, congrats there. Uh, up against Mata Belitos, who's Mexican. He qualified through the FMBB qualifier. So there you go. Um, truly a World Cup with a Mexican player. He's also got this lovely pink uh, with a design on. I really like his mummies here. I think they look great. And the whole team, are, I quite like the pink undead team. This uh, cyan and yellow is a bit weird and not great. Oh, it's because it's like Sweden, right? That's the idea. It's not actually cyan, it's just light blue. Um, and he's got the Underworld cheerleaders. They're pretty great. Um, and, oh. Boring, boring cheerleaders for Mata Belitos, but there you go. Ah, there you go. Thank you very much, surveillance. I was just joking before anybody, uh, before anybody takes wild offence at that. They were just jokes about um, PlayStation, of course. Right, Mata Belitos's team. He's got a block and a strip ball. This isn't it. Oh yeah, I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of Mata Belitos's team. I remember now. He's got two tacklers. Two guards and a block and a strip ball. So yeah, not a fan of that. Um, surveillance, on the other hand, has got a pretty standard team. He is missing the wrestle gutter, but he's got the leader and he's got three rerolls and an apple. So only twelve players. So he is a bit, he's a bit light on uh, on players, but lots of rerolls. So there we go. Nope, there's a blitz. So. There we go. <laughs> oh, he trolled Dimmy. Hello, Dimmy. Um, just joking. No, the, the thing is, there's always been jokes on on PC about PlayStation, but it's just jokes. Isn't it? um, so we've already got a, a gutter runner, two gutter runners in scoring range. So a fail pickup here is absolutely disastrous for Mata Belitos. Oh, he also has skeleton linemen, doesn't he? Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. He's got skeletons, he's got double tackle, he's got a strip ball. I'm not a fan of this undead build, but he did uh, qualify from his group. You can indeed play well and win, especially when you've got Skaven. <laughs> you know, all of the elves allow you, like you know, elves and Skaven kind of allow you to, uh, you know, kind of make positional errors, but then fix them with two pluses and movement nine. Um, whereas teams like dwarves are a bit less forgiving, aren't they? Oh, there's Kaz. Of course, with dwarves, etc., you could just completely slaughter somebody's team, and you come in that way. So, you know, I'm not saying that Skaven are particularly overpowered. Oh, okay, we're opening the one D to try and get a strip on the ball. I'm gonna run all the way around. Oh no, it's through. Number three. Gets the 1D, gets the strip. Doesn't follow. I think I would have followed, right, just for the minus ones to the catch for the uh, undeads. Um, obviously, getting nailed by the tackler really sucks. But. Oh, wow. He dodges in, gets the pick up. And then 4 twos out as well. Oh, my God. Behind the screen. That is completely outrageous. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Five plus in, five plus pick up, four two out. No problem. Still got two re-rolls. 
absolutely disgusting. Yeah, they've got super elves, haven't they? The funny thing is, Skaven have like super elves. Wait, that's not a ru that's not a rush blitz. I think I would have probably just rushed him three. Oh, he's got the strip ball, of course. I'd have been inclined to go block with the uh, tackler, but you know, I guess he can't reach there, can he? Because he's a bit rubbish. Well, I mean, certainly left his flank exposed. He did get blitzed on, right? That made it a bit difficult. That did make it a bit difficult. There was still a lot of rolls for surveillance. Ugh. Rogue Blitz without a friend. Doesn't need him. Gets the activation. Gets the pow. Chains off a ghoul. Knocks away the tackle. Locks away the ghoul. He's gonna just score here. It looks like it. I mean, I say just score, right? It's a bunch of two pluses, but ones don't exist. So, um, <laughs> there we go. He did have dodge and rerolls, so it wasn't ludicrous to do that at all. You know, they could have failed though, and, uh, but I mean, it's fair enough going for it, I think. Pitch Invasion saves one person on the LOS, but still, that's, uh, that's still pretty good for the undead. Much better than getting blitzed on. <laughs> Oh my god, the tackle blitz is a dub skull. Into a pow. I don't like how completely disconnected this team is again. Uh, there's a gaping hole here. I'd have much rather start my tackle here. One, two, three, four, five, six, back to there, right? Hold. N put, don't put this play these either of these players in. And then like hold it everything all together, not... This is asking for trouble, isn't it? This is just asking for trouble here. I've got an idea where every single right is going to go. Oh, no, they're not! Wow! I know he's got the stun. The stunned uh, stripper, but... I thought for sure they were going to get it just in between the... Uh... I mean, I'm no Skaven coach. But that's what they do, isn't it? They get in contact and get you. <laughs> Christopher V timed out by didn't he? Alright, so I guess you know he, he did have three players stunned, plus the one off the OS box, so four players stunned, didn't want to go and put pressure on. Fair enough. But it was a really good opportunity if it wasn't for four stun players, I think. Oh. That was a ghoul foul. It doesn't have a bribe. It was a lime. Ghoul. Foul. That I must have misclicked, right? He just must have misclicked. Must have misclicked. And he gets cast because he has strip ball and not block or wrestle. And yes, I do hate this build. Let me say again. Oh, the classic base the ball with sidestep. And this is a replay right so and you can tell because it's going really fast and it's also got this stuff at the top like the uh 
the pause and everything. Because I can pause it. <laughs> well, instant not blitz the gutter runner. So... This is already, now he's got just a 1 in 9 to lose the game. Which never feels good, does it? There is a 1 in 9. Doesn't get the 1 in 81. Yeah, fair enough. That is not fun, is it? He does make the dodge off. Outra oh my god, then he does a 4 plus dodge and then a rush. Okay, and he could have just moved that guy first, so he wouldn't have had to rush. Oh my goodness. Uh, dodge, even. Four plus dodge. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh god. Oh god. Well. Yes, obviously we're going to blitz here and chain him in. Yep. Wow, 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 wow. The only bad thing is that he can't blitz with the uh, roger to fit Juggernaut, but... And he can't get the surf, either. Makes every two plus to get the ball. Oh, not this one. Oh, not this one. Double, double one's the rush. I'm sure there was a reason for it, but um, I think it was incorrect. Like, are you really better there than there? Not really, right? Could just, uh, but. The thing is, the thing is, when you're playing here in these games, it's unbelievably high pressure, high stress. I can attest. It's not so easy to just uh, do the clinically correct play. I'm sure when I do the replay of my game, I'll be like, oh god, what was I thinking here? Turn six, gets the ball. Oh. In fact, he probably, yeah, you probably just got to stand up and get surfed, haven't you, to stop the rogue of just hitting the ball? Which sounds stupid when there's a stripper right ready to get you. Oh, there's a Kaz. Okay, so two rats down. The undead really need to remove rats if they're to have a chance. Ah, but blitz and then base. Fair enough. No, failed dodging a Kaz. Oh my goodness. Well, that's the sort of thing the undead need. He could have uphilled the uh, roger here, couldn't he? But didn't. He's just now going on a 1 in 4 to lose the game. <laughs> Well, I guess he could try and punch the Rolga, but that seems bad. I mean, if he makes this dodge, he's in a cage. He's pretty happy. But... He does get it. 
Okay, and then doesn't go where the cage was waiting. I, I thought he was going to cage around the mummy, right? Yep. Just follow this time because no tackle. Now I can hand off to this guy as well. This guy can get there and hand off, can't he? I think. Oh, blocked his path so I has to rush. Oh, it doesn't go for it. I get I mean this is fine, right? You've got things in front like you trap them. This is basically impossible for the undead to score. Apart from three dicing this guy instantly. <laughs> Apart from three dicing this guy instantly. Yeah, I think probably picking up was better. And now it's just a 3 3 to score. Oh, no re rolls. Makes the dodge, makes the pickup. Yeah. So, uh, that was their offense, though. So there is going to be the one turn chance now. But 4 Kaz is very good, actually. So this is eight rats, and this is not the best one-turn defense I've ever seen in my life. We're going for the Roger Blitz, I believe. The Roger Frenzy Sidestep way of doing things. It is going to be a 2D though, isn't it? I think the first it's going to be a 2D. He's going to have to pass it to this one. And then hand it over. Is this a 2 and a 2? Gets the ball down for Juggernaut. And then the push. I wonder if you could have made it a 3 into a 3. Or a 2 into a 3 at least. Gets the two things, only one dodge. The back line would have been better than that defence, that's for sure. So there you go, very nicely done surveillance. And he's ended the half 2-1 up. And now he can either Dakar or quick score. To either try and survive or just, you know, put it beyond the undead. He said he played poorly, sounds like. <laughs> um, but I mean, that, that one turn was, was fine, wasn't it? it was, so I don't know, probably. You know, people look, look at Elliot. Every time Elliot loses a game, he acts like he's played worse than anyone else ever played in the history of Blood Bowl. So, um, you know, maybe Surveillance is one of those people who says they play rubbish when they haven't actually played rubbish. <laughs> yes, but, you know, making a mistake isn't the same as playing terribly, is it? You know, making a few mistakes isn't the same as playing terribly. I made a mistake versus the Orcs, but I thought I played well the other 15 turns. Maybe I made a mistake versus the Dark Elves in the last game, but thought I played well the other 15 turns. Not a definite defense against one turn. No, it's hard. It's really hard. It's really hard to defend against one turns. Well, you know, movement nine, juggernaut frenzy, sidestep one turns. Very hard.
Decent, decent, uh, decent turn by Madablitos there. This doesn't look easy, does it? It's the surf. Surf and the ghoul's pretty good. Yeah, maybe he should have put something to threaten the uh, ball, but then, yeah, he's just going to retreat. You should probably just backline, yeah. Or if a BB, you probably should just backline. Uh, if you watch uh, my best of 17 game with Sol, where um, I'm playing against Escape and I just backlined, I just thought. The thing is, if you backline, you can't do anything wrong as well, right? Like, Strider just defended it wrong and made it easier. Obviously, Matt Oblitos just made it easier with that. You run the risk of just making it easier. I mean, you do need to pressure the ball because you're losing, but then also you can't let the Skaven just score in two turns, right? So it was it was a really hard to, like, it's a really hard situation to be in. They've got they've got movement nine, agility two plus players. And you have to stop them scoring, but also you have to somehow pressure them and turn them over as well. It's a it's a ridiculously tough ask for the undead here. <laughs> Mata Belitos is my favourite player name to say. Yeah, I'm glad you picked up on that evil moves. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic name. So now we've transformed into a Daka, haven't we, from a quick score, abject fail, into a... Uh, into... I assume it's Mexican, because he's Mexican. This this dodge was a bit, it was an extra roll, wasn't it? But it does get in the scoring range. And it is good to have players in scoring range. Matabalitos. It's, it's a great name. Oh, rushing. Yeah, this is fair. This is fair. It's, it's really hard for Matabalitos now. <laughs> now I'm going to be very self-conscious of saying it. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've exposed my love of his name <laughs> he could have rushed to base right I wouldn't have hated that I'm not saying it would have been great but I wouldn't have hated it and he could have also like double rushed there right to try and trap him so he could have rushed there and double rushed to here just try to do something like it, but it's so hard. It's not really criticism of Matabolitas. <laughs> oh, and he tries the four and fails. God, Kaz. Hey, maybe he's got a shot here. Maybe he's got a shot. He is removing things, which is half the battle. He's going to... Oh, I thought he'd have rushed with a tackler, right? He could have rushed with a tackler. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could have rushed with a tackler, and then you're hitting him with tackle. And then he could have rushed again to base the ball. I guess now you can double rush with a, with a, whatever this guy is, zombie, and then leave the tackle about. Yeah. Knowing is half the battle, yeah. Yeah, out of real. It's tough, it's tough, man. It's just so, it's such a tough ask to defend versus Skaven or elves that can score in any turn. 
I mean, they're really down on players now, the rats. So it's not easy for the rats either. No, down to one reroll. That was quite a good little move in, but now surely you should have uh, one deed the ball with this zombie, right? You could have um, brought the tackle in here, punched him, and then on a pow, you could have one deed the ball, and then if he pows him, he scores with him. So I think that was what he should have done. But, um, yeah, I think that's what he should have done one day, the ball. But instead, he's powled this gutter. I think he's going to blitz with the tackle. Is he? He's going to blitz the gutter. Is he going to just double rush and blitz the gutter? Yeah. A single rush. <laughs> Dub skulls. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I prefer just going there and, and then to one day in there and then one day in the ball and then maybe, maybe scoring. It is Salakis, yep. It is the second game after this. Tripping up with a revealing next season team. No idea what next season team is. Um, well, the gutter run just ran away there, didn't he? That was the problem with committing the tackle. Was you give him the uh, handoff potato away. And now, it turns out, being movement nine is good. Who knew? Being movement three isn't. <laughs> Yeah, I think honestly, like basing him, two Ding him, and then like one dice in the ball, looking for a five or a six into a scatter that you can score with was the play, right? And then you make it two two, and then maybe you can draw a win or get the ball and hold on to it. I don't know, like, or, or just keep that tackler back. And, and but he did the worst thing, which was commit the tackler and have it fall over, which meant he could just blow past him. Oh, it can do fine, depending on your definition of the word fine. <laughs> yep. And, I mean, now we're just chucking dice, right? Nothing matters for the rats. Just have a bit of fun. Fail a rush. <laughs> have your player die. Um, there's a chance he could chain this guy, right? So, yeah. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. So this one can run around, blitz him, chain the tackler forward, and then he can base the ball. So he can only lose 2-1. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no difference whatsoever, but it's the sort of thing that I'd do. And you see people do it in ladder, even though it doesn't make any difference, right? Like, in ladder, you've lost this 2-1, so... You know, I guess technically he could have failed the dodge away, and then he could have long-bombed it to the other one who could then hand it off the ghoul. So maybe there was the vaguest, vaguest chance. Not really. So there you go, surveillance... Gets the job done. I don't think he played terribly at all. And um, there you go. Go Sweden and PlayStation. Uh, surveillance picks up the win there over Matabalitos and will have the advantage going into game two. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>